a uh, second chap book, a chap book for March, uh, which is coming out um, on the <coughs> excuse me on the eighth of March. Um, it's available for pre-order, or it ought to be. Um, you never know how these things work, and um, there'll either be a link here or it should be in my bio. I don't know. It's it's all a coordination problem, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, it's um, called Whale Oil. Um, I think it's got more poems in it than um, England 2K State Insect. Um, and uh, they were written between May and approximately November last year. Uh, they've been written all over the place, I've written them in pubs, I've written them on trains, I've written them, um, I think I've even written some of them where I'm sat right now, if you can believe it. Um, but yeah, what's in this uh, poetry book? And, you know, I could just regurgitate the little bio thing, you know, you put, because it's fresh in my memory, I can't get it out of my head, you know. Um, so it deals with um, oceanic themes, um, I mean, a big inspiration for me has always been, you know, the, uh, the stories of the sea, whether it's from Melville, or, you know, um, there's elements of the occult in there, um, there's obviously elements of sexuality, um, and, um, I don't know, whatever else you can imply, um, so that's available now, and the plan, of course, as it was when I started this, but I think it is starting to sort of materialize, is to have a monthly chapbook. So um, I'm hoping there'll be one in April, one in May, and we'll see how long we can do this. Um, one of the implications is gonna be um, uh, when I exhaust um, the selection of colors that I can have for a cover, because so far we've had red, we've had purple, don't know where we're gonna go next. Um, and of course it's nice if a chapbook has a uh, discernible through line to it, like I think this one has, I think the poems sort of go in different directions and then they come back to some kind of um, point of gravity, a focal point, you know. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And this one I've had worked out in my mind for months, but this next one, I've, you know, I'm going to have to think on my feet a bit amidst all the marketing and amidst everything else I'm doing. Um, so, uh, that's the situation with that. Other thing I need to talk about is the move to eventually doing paperbacks. Now, of course, um, ebooks are great, ebooks are easy to do. I mean, it's virtually just a PDF. Um, you don't need to format it because people can adjust the formatting themselves. They have different formatting depending on, you know, the settings they have on their Kindle. Don't have to make a back cover, don't have to worry about a spine. Um, don't have to worry about formatting. I already said that, just repeating myself. Um, but it is impersonal and, you know, I think very few people when they become interested in literature and they have, you know, this conception of what they want to do themselves. Very few people exclusively want to just make, you know, files. Some people maybe do, and, you know, it's great, but I think everyone has that romantic idea of a physical book. So there will be a drive, a drive, a drive to make a physical copy of the first book. There's all sorts of delays in this that are out of my control shipping. Um, and I, I've, I've ordered proof copies for a um, paperback version I made of um, England 2K State Insect. Um, hopefully everything in it is to my satisfaction. If it is, I can then put it out. There'll be some delay because of, you know, the whole mechanics behind that. Um, but um, it should be available fairly soon, I want to say, optimistically. Um, and of course, you know, you won't hear the end of it once it is available, because every opportunity 
that I can take for marketing, I will gleefully eat it up, you know, ravenously. Um, which reminds me, to, speaking of quote-unquote ravenous, um, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten. You don't eat much when, you know, you live in the UK and the cost of living. Um, so I've got to go pick up some food and uh, that's going to draw this to a halt however much I love the sound of my own voice and love the um, reluctant uh, inattentive audience 